What's happening, everybody? Street here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stang Stories. We're bringing the silver Stang here into Ford today. Word is kind of that they're going to tear the engine down. So we're going to drop it off and we're going to get a loaner car for a while and uh, see what they say. But first, let's do a cold start. it here while she warms up for a little bit so we can get some of that tick going it's been doing it less and less um under idle but it's been doing it a lot more during uh like low acceleration so let's see if we can catch it on film here You can kind of hear it a little bit, not too much at idle. It's low RPMs that you hear it a lot more. All right, gonna bring the kids to school and then uh, we're gonna head off to Ford. Things are not gonna have the stain for a week. Well, needs to get fixed. So. All right, we dropped the kids off at school. We're heading off to Ford right now. So, basically, what they've told me is is that they would like me to drop it off for the week, um, or at least a good couple of days, so that they can have a few days to play around with it. Um, they're they're kind of describing to me what process that I'm taking as is they're gonna kind of dismantle the engine a little bit. Um, they're gonna kind of tear it down. Uh, see if they can locate the tick, figure out whatever kind of parts that they need to order, and then uh, they'll go ahead and order those and get it fixed and see if we can correct this problem. Um, I know that I've, I've been watching a lot of people saying uh, maybe use a uh, thicker oil. Um, also, I've been seeing a lot of people, um, I shouldn't say a lot, but I've seen a couple of guys stating that there's some bearings um, that have gone bad and that's causing the ticking. So I'm gonna kinda explain some of this stuff to them just to give them maybe something that they can direct their attention toward um, and they can look at. And uh, we're gonna go from there, man. They're gonna give me a loader car, I guess, for a couple of days, so I'll let you guys know what that's gonna be. It's probably gonna be awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kinda give you updates here and there as I get them. And uh, hopefully we can get the problem figured out and I can let you guys know what was causing my ticking. Um, you know, they all kind of sound the same, but it seems like people are finding different different ways to fix it or different things are causing the tick. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm not a motorhead. And for those, you know, people that have been, you know, talking shit and bashing on me for putting this video out, you know, it's like, I just want my car fixed. I paid a lot of money for this car. And uh, this is my fucking dream car. And I want it to run right. So... We're doing the best we can to get it to work, and uh, you know, I just I want to have it running at its best. So stick, t uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get some more info here uh, shortly. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be leaving Ford. We got us a Beast Taurus. It's a uh, it's an SEL Taurus. It's uh, pretty junky, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but uh, we're going to have this thing for about a week. So when I get back home, I'll do a little, you know, round the car, kind of let everyone see what I got here. It's not too bad. It's just, it's not my Mustang, man. It's just not. <laughs> but I'm happy that these guys are going to take care of me. They seem genuine and they, they want to know what's happening with the car. So um, no, and one of the, one of the key pointers was, is that this car was like one of the favorites of everybody when it was here. Um, they used to keep it in the showroom and stuff for everyone to look at. And the day that I drove off with it, like the whole dealership came out to watch me leave. And, uh, it was just kind of, it was like one of those bittersweet things, I think for everyone, because it was like one of those, one of those eye candy pieces. All right. But anyway, man, there we go. See you Ford. And we're off in our, our new courtesy car I should say and uh, we'll soon be back together with silver soon I hope all right guys I'll uh, I'll do a little round uh, roundabout on the, the uh, courtesy car when I get home and stuff right now I'm gonna drive home and get back to uh, the crib so I can get back to work and then uh, 
will will keep you posted on everything that I hear and everything that I find out. Guys, here's the new G wagon, dude. It's a uh, Taurus SEL, I think. A new courtesy car. Why wow, the stain gets torn down? It's gonna be pretty good, I think. It's uh, it's gutless. Has no headroom, and it's got a really wonky dashboard. Let's see if we can get a shot of the dashboard here. Yeah, it's like the slant is really awkward. Automatic is weird. I constantly bash my head on this thing. <laughs> but it's better than a Fiesta. And there you go, everybody. That's update number two. Uh, it's dropped off at Ford. We're going to see what's going on. You know, when the service manager heard it last video, he was very concerned. He's, he, he wants to get to the bottom of this. And he says it's not normal. So all you internet mechanics... You know, I don't know what to tell you. Some, a couple of YouTubers came by my video and were just salty as hell and left some really shitty comments, which they have deleted since. Um, but, you know, get over yourselves, man. I'm not a motorhead. I don't know. I don't work on cars. And half of you guys don't either. You know, it's just... If the Ford service manager in the you know at the at the dealership tells me he doesn't like it and he wants to figure it out, I'm gonna let him because I paid you know well I didn't pay but MSRP was fifty thousand on this car. I'm not gonna let it just sit there and just degrade away. You know it's just it doesn't make any sense. So they got it. They're gonna figure it out. I will keep everybody posted that's interested. And that's that's that. And now I'm going to settle into this Taurus for a week or so. I asked him if I could have the Shelby out front, but they weren't having it. He was like, no, nah, I mean, I can't give you the Shelby. And I was just like, whatever, bro. <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse. I could have got a Fiesta or, or, or an EcoSport. So I'm happy with what I got, I guess. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for updates on the next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at silverstang 707 And I will keep you guys in the loop. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.